Hello? Hi. Hi. Good day. Hey. Hi. Thank you guys for joining me live in Dallas, Texas on the Belder Beauty Show. I appreciate it. Of course. Hi. I, th- I was told I've got Sydney, Noah, and Graham. Correct? Hello. Yes, yep. ma'am. All right, from Echo Smith. All right, then. I'm going to start with Sydney. Sydney, <laughs> tell me a little bit about uh, State Farm and Echo Smith. You guys have teamed up to celebrate something that's really important. Yeah, well, we teamed up with State Farm to do Celebrate My Drive, which is promoting safe driving. And, you know, it is obviously, you know, geared towards people our age, which is really cool and something that really, like, you know, made us extra interested in doing this with them. And, you know, they came up with this hashtag Drive 2 and 2, which is two eyes on the road and two hands on the wheel. And that's something that's so huge, even though it seems so simple and easy, you know, not many people do that. Um, And, you know, it's just a reminder for ourselves to do that, but also we're, you know, trying to spread the word and, you know, trying to get our fans to do it too. All right then. Graham, tell me about this uh, chance to win a private concert and 100,000 grand from a high school. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Usually Noah takes that answer. I can can rock that. Okay, we'll 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 let you take that one in, Noah. Okay. Well, one of the really amazing things is that different schools and different students can go to CelebrateMyDrive.com and submit a video all with a hashtag or photos, too, with uh, Drive 2 and 2. They can submit these things, and they can enter for a chance to win a private concert from us at their high school, or their high school can get a $100,000 grant. I mean, either of those sound pretty exciting, and they're, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's huge. State Farm is doing a lot with that, and they're really encouraging kids to get in with this Driving 2 and 2 and Celebrate My Drive program. All right, then. Okay, Graham, now I know you can tell me about Echo Smith. Tell me about Echo Smith in case someone hadn't heard your debut album or your platinum hit, Cool Kids. You tell us about Echo Smith. Now, I know you can do that. It's alternative <laughs> rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easier way of saying it, with a little pop that, in there. Yeah. Okay, okay, you guys alternative rock, right? Okay. Well, is there any group you imitate uh, in a sense? If, if I would say you sound like, you know, uh, uh, the Beatles or what, who do you sound like? I mean, we love, you know, the Killers and Coldplay and we love a lot of 80s new waves. So, I mean, if you blend that all together and add a girl voice and, you know, a modern twist and... A few other yeah, things. Yeah, a few other <laughs> things, then I think you kind of get Echo Smith. So, Sydney, how did you guys become so successful? Did someone see you playing and say, you know, hey, i got to sign you to a contract? How did you guys make it to the level that you're at at this time? Yeah, well, it took a lot of patience, and, I mean, we've been a band for, like, nine years now. So, I mean, there's been a lot of time involved, uh, but it was just a matter of keeping on going and, you know, playing wherever we could, whenever we could. And eventually, you know, you meet the right people after meeting so many people. And, um, you know, Warner Brothers discovered us and fell in love with who we were and what we were doing, which is amazing. And we never expected that to happen. So, you know, since then, you know, we've been really just continuing to do the same thing, playing shows and meeting our fans and growing, you know, slowly but surely. And here we are, you know, and it kind of definitely went a little bit on fast forward in a sense because it definitely went a lot faster in the past two years but it took nine years of work to get where we are all right so if you could leave my audience with inspiration i don't do advice but i do do inspiration from people who have made it and you guys are making it (laughs) what would you say to them Uh, What would you say then? What would that inspiration be yeah i mean i think the two main things that we've learned over time is Number one, like patience is key and important in all aspects of life, no matter what you're doing, whether you want to do music or something in entertainment or, you know, you're becoming a lawyer. It takes a long time in schooling to do that. You know what I mean? So patience really is necessary for just life in general, you know, and also, you know, finally, I think that it's important that people know that you have to really accept yourself for who you are and who you're not. And that's something that we're currently learning right now and I think it's a daily process and a daily decision that we have to make Um, and you know it's something important for all of us to do. All right so Sarah as we wrap up, (coughs) Sydney as we wrap up I'm sorry, Celebrate My Drive where would you send my audience so that they can participate? Yeah CelebrateMyDrive.com as easy as that. (laughs) Yeah and make sure you send your submissions, submissions end Sunday so make sure you hurry up and head to the website and throw them in. All right, I know that's Noah chiming in. I know that's not Graham. All right, then. (laughs) 
Sydney Dora Graham. Thank you for being my guest. I wish you the best that God and life has to offer you guys. Oh. I can't wait till I say, oh, I had them before they were superstars on my show. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.